Well, we're, we're getting ready to do um, a special announcement, and we want everybody to just kind of get to their seats because we want everybody to be able to hear and know what's going on. So we want everybody to come in and, and have a seat. Okay, so where is um Joe? I'm right here. No match you, honey. <laughs> Here's our young lady that's going to do our next announcement. She's going to come on up and she's going to introduce herself. Sabrina. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. My name is Edwina Wilson. I am the CEO and founder of Kelly's Choice. We are a nonprofit where we do things in the community for caregivers and those that's differently able. Um, we're actually excited to be here today and I thank Shannon for inviting us to be a part of this awesome event where we're giving back to the community for those that's differently able and making them have, allowing them to have an awesome Christmas as well. So I thank God for this opportunity and being a part of it. With that being said, I have something that I really want to read. Um, I got this um, in my email. And I had it drawn up specifically because you'll see why after I read it. Okay, it reads, when I first heard about the Caregivers Award, I thought, wow, what an awesome tribute. I immediately thought of someone very deserving of this honor. If you think of the meaning of the word caregiver, it says that a caregiver is a family member or paid helper who regularly looks after a child or sick, elderly, or disabled person. It, said, it doesn't say that a caregiver is caring, loving, or a selfless person. It doesn't say that a caregiver works hard, works full-time, works a full-time job whose body is tired after a long day's work, but still manages to be sure that all of my needs are met. It doesn't say that a caregiver who has a child of their own still found a way to help take care of their, my children. It doesn't say that a caregiver will cook, clean, and dress me when I'm capable of doing it, so, but just so weak to get it done. It doesn't say that a caregiver sacrifices their own personal life on numerous occasions just to attend and assist in an occasion that I was obligated to do. It doesn't say that a caregiver will not only take care of me, but it will assist any person, whether disabled or not, if they are in need of assistance. It doesn't say that a caregiver will ungrudgingly get out of their bed in the wee hours of the night or morning to attend to me. It doesn't say that a caregiver is there for your emotional support on the days that you feel like you just can't go on. I could go on and on about it. <laughs> I could go on and on about it, what it doesn't say a caregiver is. However, my caregiver is all these things and more. To this very day, my caregiver would say, I'm not your caregiver. I do these things because I love you. I would say, you are my caregiver, a wonderful mother, my friend, and the most amazing sister in the world, and I couldn't imagine my life without you, Sabrina Martin. <laughs> On this day, I honor you for all you have done. I do not take you for granted. You are truly a blessing in my life, and I thank you. With love always, your sister, Shannon Minnick.
We honor caregivers once a year. We just had our second annual Caregivers Appreciation Award Ceremony on November the 14th. Yeah, 14th. Where we honor uh, family caregivers that care for their loved ones, uh, whether disabled, elderly, sick, or whomever. So with that being said, I'm going to let Shannon take the honors of doing this and honor her sister with Kelly's Choice Caregivers Award. So yes, my sister is the best sister in the world. Yes, she is better than yours. <laughs> and I just want to say, my sister's there for me all the time and for our whole family. And I know my brother, he probably wants to cry right now as well. Um, and she takes care of us. They will probably say it's me, but it's not. It's her. <laughs> um, we still expect you to cook this week. <laughs> But my sister, I mean, she goes beyond and beyond. She's probably, this morning I was a little agitated and frustrated, but she's still here. And she still, she's saying, something's wrong with Shannon, but we need to hurry up and get this done. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to say I love you and thank you for always being there. And I know you have sacrificed a lot. I love you too. Stop. Stop. Oh. videos. If you go on my website, I've done so many websites where I pop up at caregivers' houses, at their jobs, and surprise them with caregivers' awards or baskets or gifts. Because most time caregivers go so unnoticed, but they give their heart. They make so many sacrifices. They drop things at the dime of a dozen to care for their loved ones. So God gave me this vision. That's my daughter Kelly, somewhere over there. Right over there, um, it was birthed off of a vision, um, a vision I had uh, uh, back in 2011. So I truly thank God for it. Um, I would love to have all of y'all information. I was talking to Shannon and Kim, we're gonna do something in the area. So before I leave, make sure I get all the caregivers information so we can stay connected and do some great things. All right, you got anything you wanna say, Kim? Um, we get ready to do, we get ready to do our first raffle. Come on, let's get excited. Y'all excited about the rest? 